guys, I'm Natty Homemaker and welcome back to my channel. Today I went grocery shopping. I go grocery shopping once a week and today I went out with a budget of $50. So $50 for my groceries and $5 for my pantry stock up. So I'll show you what I got today. I live in Ontario, Canada and these are the prices for my groceries and this is what I got. So this is my grocery haul. As I said, I live in Ontario and I watch many channels on YouTube and I'm a subscriber to many and I like to watch grocery hauls and to see the difference in prices, difference in items that they have. And well, there's a lot of sticker shock going on lately and it's hard to get a grocery haul for over $50 or under $50. So this is what I got. This is what we got for two people, for two adults. And I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible, trying to get as healthy as possible. I do have vegetables in the fridge and I have some freezer vegetables and fruits and stuff. So anyways, here we go. So I got some, first I went to the Metro. So I went to two different stores. So first I went to the Metro. This was on a clearance rack. These are $1.50 a pack. A bag of these are $3.88 right now. So I said $1.50 for that, and there's nothing wrong with them. They're all... A, a bag must have busted open, so they just reduced it. Um, this is Simple Steams. These are so good. These are $1.99. You just put them in the microwave, or you just put it in the pot, and you warm them up. Warm them up. And Simple Steam Rice Cauliflowers. I got two boxes of those. Those are good. Jay loves that. So I got four boxes in total. So $1.99 a box. Eggs, well, they're starting to, uh, I guess, stay at the same price now. So this was $3.69. Wasn't too bad of a price, so I picked it up. The actual eggs now are, before I used to buy eggs there for, from Selection, and I was bitching about it before in another video. Look, the eggs are actually bigger now. I was complaining that, you know, you buy large eggs and I was getting small eggs instead of large eggs and I was getting really frustrated with that. So, Selection have changed their product and have actually made it where they're actually large eggs now. Um, I got some zucchini because I'm planning on making zucchini bites all week. You know, make it for snacks and stuff. So I got one... Look how small they are though. I watch other videos and zucchinis are so much bigger, but... The guy was saying in produce that's hard to get big ones here. So these are our small zucchinis. I got one, two, three, four. So I got five zucchinis and that cost me $3.21. $3.21. Not too bad. $1.69 a pound. Yeah. So this bread here I've been buying lately. <clears throat> it's delicious. It's uh, fermented bread. It's plant-based. It's uh, got all the good stuff you need. It's very high in carb, uh, very high in fiber. So five grams of fiber per slice. Is it per slice? Seven grams of fiber for two slices. So that's pretty good. I like this bread. It's a little bit pricey, but every time I go there, there's some on the reduced rack. So I grab them and I freeze them. This one here costs me. Five sixty nine, but it was reduced. Uh, they reduced it one seventy one, so thirty percent off. So yeah, it's a lot cheaper than it usually is. It's expensive, but I don't I don't eat as much bread as I used to. I'd rather spend the extra money on a bread that tastes good, that's better for you, that's higher in fiber, less in carbs, and you know it has all the good stuff. Like it's fermented, it's loving whole grains. So yeah. I was happy with that. So that was the Metro order. And that came up to 2042. 2042 for this. So now we're going to go into the food basics order. So I have this buttered popcorn. It's a Himalayan pink buttered popcorn. It's kettle popped. So good. So good. These popcorn kernels are always popped well. Uh, there's no kernels at the bottom of the bag. It's beautiful. It's lightly salted it's perfect 199 a bag irresistible popcorn cheddar popcorn 
Um, I think I've tried it once. I like irresistible products. They tend to be very good. So I grabbed the bag of those for $1.99 as well. I uh, got my, oh yeah, I got a deal on this, guys. Black Forest Shredded Cheese. So this was $4.88. I had a coupon for $1.50. So take out a coup take off a coupon for $1.50 and there you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, bananas. Bananas was like a dollar two. Yeah, dollar two. Uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes are beautiful. These are Canadian grown tomatoes. So I got three so I can make toasted tomatoes this week. That cost me. That cost me two, two, two thirty eight for three tomatoes. They're pretty big. They're nice. Nice and firm. Nice color. So toasted tomato for this week. And I got some more of those um, oranges at the Food Basics. But there's a lot more here than there is in the other package. So it's $1.99. So if I would have bought a bag of the two of them together, it would have cost me one, two, three, four, uh, $1.50. So almost four bucks. Now, right now the bags are going for $3.88 and you won't even get, you will get about this much. So I got a deal there. I got a deal there. Sun dried, uh, sorry, sun dried tomato and basil uh, vegetable chips. These were $2.49. Now, I used to buy the vegetable sticks, not from this company, from another company, and they're like sky high now, like almost five bucks a bag. So I will buy it for $2.49. Uh, this is for Jay's uh, lunch. He uses it for a snack. Yum, yum. Okay, oh, cucumber. Cucumbers were two for three, so I bought just one. That's all I needed. For some reason, the cucumbers don't last anymore. They go all watery inside and mucky and stuff within like two days. So, gotta eat them fast. You gotta eat them fast. Okay, and as for my pantry haul, I got this in a clearance bin at the Food Basics. Sweet onion craft dressing for $1.99. Lemon Zinger Tea, one ninety nine. Lemon Zinger Tea, one ninety nine. And this was ninety nine cents. That's the regular price. Cream and broccoli soup. I think I'll make a cream and broccoli soup with that this week. So I'll just add my extra broccoli, my extra vegetables to it, and make myself a yummy soup. All right, guys. So let's tally that up, and I'll tell you the total. So the total today was at the Metro, I spent $20.42. $25.13 is what I spent at Food Basics. So my total with the pantry stock up, the $5 pantry stock up, $46.55. $46.55. I made it under budget. I was going for $50 and I made it under budget. I was quite impressed quite impressed. I know there's no meat in here. That's fine. Cause I have meat in my freezer. I have vegetables, more vegetables in my fridge, salad and stuff like that. This is just a top up for the week. And like I said, my budget was only $50 and I made it. So because it's getting harder to shop to find decent prices, I look in my flyers. I look through flip every week. I find the things that I need and I write it down on my list. Then I make a menu around what I want. I make a menu basically with what I'm going to buy. So like I said, I bought these tomatoes because I have the intentions of making toasted tomato for lunch. And I bought some cucumbers because I make cucumber salad. And like I bought bananas to make banana keto pudding. And you know, this way, when I go to the grocery store, I won't be as sticker shocked because if you go in there blindly, it's like crazy, 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 crazy. Like I could go in there and not, and not know that, okay, well this mayonnaise, I need mayonnaise and go in there and mayonnaise is six bucks. When usually it's three bucks on, on sale. I won't buy it unless it's on sale because one store will be one price. One store will be another price. And it's a big gap in price, you know, like it's incredible. <clears throat> What I'm finding hard is when I go to the Metro, 
Then I go to the food basics and their prices are so different, so different. So let's say the eggs are here and they're $3.69. The eggs over there could be $4.69, a dollar more. So because I'm looking at the sale, I'll know, okay, well, the eggs are on special there, so I'll get them there. Cheaper. But yeah, just walking into a store now to grab something I need. If it's not a special, I won't buy it. If I can get it cheaper, I'll look through my flip app and see if I can get it cheaper and go to that store. I try to do two stops. Two stops. One of the metro, one of the food basics. So this way, I'm not shopping in the whole freaking city. But anyways, thought I'd share that with you today. That was my grocery order for this Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And be sure to leave a comment below. And be sure to 